Ever wondered how your favorite ice cream is made? Well, buckle up sugar, because we're about to dive into the sweet, icy world of ice cream creation. At the heart of this frosty wonder are three simple yet magical ingredients, milk, sugar, and cream. It's like a sweet trinity that comes together to create the creamy delight that we all know and love. Now, the proportions matter, y'all. Too much milk, and you've got a soft, light treat. Lean heavier on the cream, and you're in for a rich, indulgent experience. And the sugar? Well, that's the sweet whisper that ties it all together. Different types of ice cream come from playing around with these proportions. From the velvety French style, heavy on the cream, to the light and airy Italian gelato, made with more milk. So we've got our milk, sugar, and cream ready. Now hold on to your spoons because we're about to churn things up. Now y'all might think that making ice cream is as simple as freezing these ingredients. But oh honey, it's so much more than that. See, the key to that smooth, creamy, melt-in-your-mouth texture is all about the churning process. Picture a dance where cream, sugar, and flavorings are swirled together in a beautiful, cold ballet. That's churning. It's not just mixing, it's a full-on, twirling, spinning party. Churning does two things. It incorporates air and breaks up ice crystals. As the mixture is agitated, it draws in air, creating little bubbles. These bubbles are trapped, giving your ice cream that light, fluffy texture. Without churning, we'd be left with a solid block of ice, not the creamy delight we all adore. Now, about those ice crystals. The smaller, the better. Churning helps keep these little guys in check, breaking them up as they form. This prevents the ice cream from becoming icy and hard. Instead, it remains soft and scoopable, even straight from the freezer. Temperature plays a crucial role in this process. Too warm, and you'll have a soupy mess. Too cold, and you'll end up with an icy, hard dessert. The sweet spot is just below the freezing point, where the mixture can freeze slowly while it's churned, ensuring a perfect creamy consistency. So remember, churn, churn, churn. It's the secret to that creamy goodness we all love. Now that we've got our creamy base, it's time for the fun part, the flavors. Imagine, if you will, a parade, but instead of floats and marching bands, it's a procession of delightful and delectable flavors, ready to mingle with our ice cream base. The first ones to join the party are the classics, the tried and true flavors that never fail to please. There's vanilla, a flavor that's anything but plain. Its sweet floral notes bring a comforting familiarity to our ice cream. Then there's chocolate, the rich and indulgent treat that's always a crowd pleaser. It brings a depth of flavor that can only be described as chocolicious. But the flavor parade doesn't stop at the classics. Oh no, it's just getting started. There's a whole world of unconventional flavors that are eager to surprise your taste buds. Have you ever tried lavender ice cream? Its delicate floral notes can transport you to a blooming garden in spring. Or how about a scoop of spicy jalapeno? It's a fiery surprise that will tickle your senses in the most delightful way. Let's not forget the trendsetters like avocado or matcha. These flavors might raise an eyebrow or two, but trust me, once you've had a taste, you'll be coming back for more. So whether you're a fan of the classics or you're more of an adventurous type, there's a flavor out there for you. So we've made our ice cream, added our flavors, and now there's just one thing left to do. Well, darlings, we've reached the final stage of our ice cream journey. After all that mixing and flavoring, We've got to get this creamy delight packaged up and into the freezer. We pour the soft, velvety mixture into tubs, each one ready to bring joy to some lucky ice cream lover. Now comes the hardest part, the freezing. You see, ice cream has to be frozen just right. Not too fast, not too slow. It's a bit like waiting for water to boil. The anticipation can be torture, but oh, the reward is sweet. I reckon there's a life lesson in there somewhere. Maybe something about patience being its own reward? Nah, who am I kidding? The real reward is ice cream. And there you have it, folks. That's how your favorite ice cream is made. And remember, ice cream is like life. Best enjoyed one scoop at a time.